Today, I'll tell you how to prepare sodium hydroxide the easiest way. For this, you'll need two pencils with its end removed. You see that you, uh, the graphite is exposed. This acts as an inert electrode. Okay, so you're gonna keep it apart. Now, you'll need salt and a glass of water. You add salt to the water and more concentrated the water solution is the better sodium hydroxide the concentrated so sodium hydroxide you are going to obtain stir it well so see that all the salt has been dissolved after this saturate the solution saturate the solution so that the uh, sodium hydroxide you're gonna get is of a better quality and it's more concentrated so after this you'll need a voltage supply here we are we are using an adapter this is an uh, adapter which uh, is gone whose output is 4.8 volt this is a DC output so what you're gonna get from the plug is a AC output it converts an AC to DC so you can't do this experiment with an AC AC input. You will need a DC because AC alternates according to its frequency. So now you have to connect one of the end of the pencil to the uh, to the adapter's output like this, and insert this pencil in the salt solution. Insert this pencil in the salt solution like this. Now, now add phenolphthalein. This acts as an indicator. Phenolphthalein is an indicator. Just add two drops. One, two, three. Two drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Now we can see that there is no salt solution. There is no uh, color developed. So now. You are going to switch on the power supply. So just observe the ends of the pencil carefully. Ends of the pencil carefully. Right now there is no bubbles or anything as such. See here. Now when the power is switched on, you can see here. You can see the bubbles developing up. The bubbles. Bubbles coming up. This shows the electrolysis is in progress. And you can see that there's a faint pink color developing right around the pencil. Right around the pencil. This is chlorine is liberated. Chlorine is liberated. And you can see now chlorine as well as hydrogen. From one from one electrode you're gonna get chlorine and other hydrogen. Now we can see that you can see a pink color slowly developing around the pencil pink color which shows that the solution is becoming more of a basic solution that is sodium hydroxide now, now to check which is anode and which is cathode you are going to use a multimeter multimeter and it is in a DC DC mode DC mode and just connect it across the lead connect it across the lead and now we can see it's a minus a negative voltage supply which means that we are connected in a wrong way that means like this so now it is showing a positive value that means the pencil across which the pink color is developing that is the black is an cathode and the red is an anode like this this is a cath cathode anode and this is an cathode so you can see that pink color pink color is sodium hydroxide thank you hi there